So anyway, Tony in Long Beach, California. Hey, Tony, what's on your mind today? Hey, Tom. Uh, my mom used to say, have an old saying that said, God don't like ugly and he ain't crazy about pretty either. Yeah, that's and a I, good one. <laughs> I'm using that in reference to the whole Donna Brazil thing. I got up this morning and was reading about it, and I'm like, you know what? All these people that are so down on the Bernie people are so breaking up the party. You, everybody's got to admit their own fault and their own problem with what's going on. Because the, the Democratic Party is going to implode really soon if people don't just take responsibility for what they've done and move forward. I think there's a fundamental difference, Tony, between the Republican Party's implosion and the Democratic Party's implosion. What's happening on the Republican Party is that it has it has been taken over, by and large, by a group of billionaires, right, the Koch, the Koch Network. In the Republican Party, in the Democratic Party, excuse me, you've got, you know, good government folks. You've got people who actually want a functioning democratic republic here. And, and, and there are a few folks who are like, yeah, we're all in favor of a functioning democratic republic, but look out for the pharmaceutical industry, please, because they fund my campaigns. Or look out for the banks, please, because they fund my campaigns. And until we get money out of politics, this is a systemic problem. It's not a Democratic Party problem or Republican Party problem. This is a right. systemic problem that was created by the Supreme Court, saying that it's legal for rich people to own politicians. Mm-hmm. That's and, it. And until they come back, it's, 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 it'll be another Republican because let's just face it, they stick together and they get one message and they stick to it. And whereas Democrats are all over the place and people are so busy, um, you know, pointing the finger. I look at it like this: Hillary lost, plain and simple. She lost. It's over. Let's start over. Let's do what we got to do because if you don't, there won't be a Democratic Party. Yeah. I'm telling you that right now. I, that's how I feel. Yeah. And I am just sick and tired of people not looking at facts. I try to look at facts. When you look at when they try to blame everything on the millennials, the millennials still voted for Hillary in a majority. It's just a lot more of them may have gone Green Party or, yeah. you know, for Bernie or whatever. But uh, the, the majority still voted for Hillary. Yeah. Same thing for people of color. What I'm saying to is, is like white folks are having a black experience right now. Uh, they're finding out all the lies they've been told and the things they believed in that weren't true. But when you look at the facts, white males, females over the age of 40 that made more than $40,000 voted for Trump hands down. Right. That's right. the, you know, blame, uh, blame yourself. You can't keep pointing fingers at Bernie people, Green Party. Uh, you have to look at what white people voted for him and why. And until you address that, until we get back to the unions and, and the grassroots people or whatever, the Democrats are going to keep, going to keep losing. Well, and the question, Tony, is what percentage of those white people who voted against basically not only their own interests but the interests of the mm -hmm. nation, what percentage of those white people who voted for Trump, that 53% of white women, and I forget the, number, the percentage of white men, but it was right. substantial. It was over 50%. Mm -hmm. um, what percentage of them voted for Trump because they actually thought that his message of of, uh, you know, we need to change our trade deals, we need to start taxing billionaires, we need to break up the big banks because they're killers. I mean, you know, he said a lot of things that were consistent with, arguably, the things that Bernie was saying, you know. Exactly. He, they were all lies, but he said they were. them. So, so how many of those people um, voted, him for, voted for him for those reasons versus how many of those people voted for him because of all his racist rhetoric? And I'm guessing, I, as a white guy, I'm guessing it's 50-50. I don't know. What are your thoughts, Tony? I, I would say that probably pretty much. But the thing is that I have a problem with, with so-called progressive uh, white people is you still knew what type of guy he was. And yeah. it's, it's nothing new there. And I'm getting a little tired of people claiming, you know, I believe, I believe, but, you know, Barack Obama didn't, it's, just, it's like they're so fixed on getting rid of the image of him right. being a black man that they, uh, still, a lot of white people are racist that don't want to admit it, and everybody knows how Trump is the reality star. Right. Come on, people. Right, or they may not even realize it. Tony, thanks for the call. Great to hear from you. We'll be right back.